All right, guys, we are back with another episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 Mord's moveset, where last time we defeated Janine and Sabrina. Today, we're going to take on Blaine and Blue in the Cinnabar and Viridian Gyms. And if you guys enjoyed this video and this series, smash that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to pick our team and then we'll get started. All right, here we go. So now we got our team. Let's go ahead and take on Blaine. All right, we're going inside the volcano here, so I'm very excited. My next opponent, it's none other than you. All right, love that. All right, we got a good looking team. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that volcano right there, man. Absolutely reminds me of the anime. Absolutely love it. So I'm putting in Typhlosion first. Blaine is going to put in Rapid Ash first. And I'm going to go for a super effective Earthquake. But unfortunately, Rapid Ash is going to outspeed. However, they're just going to go for Sunny Day to set up. And I'm going to go for a super effective Earthquake right here. Let's see how much damage we do. Uh, definitely not even close to a one hit, but it'll definitely be a two hit. And one more Earthquake will most likely knock it out, barring a Focus Band, but not before Rapidash gets off a powerful Fire Blast. Even while we resist it, it still does a lot of damage. And one more Earthquake is going to take out the Rapidash. So we have got an early one to nothing lead over Blaine as we wait for his second Pokemon to come out. Let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be Ninetales. And the sunlight is strong. We're still early into the sunny day turns here. And once again, Blaine is going to go for Fire Blast. One more Fire Blast is going to take us down for sure. Let's see if we can get a one hit here. Oh, not quite. I don't even know if that's going to be a two hit, really. Those damage ranges are going to be awfully close. And is Ninetales going to go for Dig here? Oh, Blaine, you fell right into our trap. Now we can Earthquake Underground for double damage. That'll definitely be a knockout. As we take care and take advantage of Earthquake being able to hit opponents while they're underground for double damage. As Parasect comes in last, this is our time to clean sweep here. And we do have Fire Blast of our own. And we are faster Let's see if we can get a one hit here. Oh, man, we could have clinched it right there. If they crit us, they don't crit us, but they do knock us out with slash. Man, we could have had a clean sweep had we hit with fire blast right there. Now, this is a problem because Kabutops and Octillery are both weak to grass. So a Parasect is going to have Solar Beam. It's going to be a problem, but thankfully... As artillery comes in, the sunlight fades, and we're going to go for flamethrower for four times damage. Oh, let's see if we can get a one hit. We absolutely do. Wow. Even without stab, artillery comes in and saves the day for our team as we get a decisive three to one victory over Blaine. Wow. Absolutely incredible. I'll go back and work on my basic skills again. All right, that does it for the Cinnabar gym. And with that victory, we only have one last gym to go, and that's going to be against Blue. We'll be right back. Please stay with it. All right, and with that victory over Blaine, we're going to take on Blue, the Viridian gym leader here in our last gym challenge before we get to red in our next episode. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, here we go. This is our last gym battle before we get to red. So let's make it a good one. All right, so we're going to start off with Jolteon. And let's see who Blue puts in first. It's going to be Alakazam. 
All right, so we got a matchup of two speed demons here in the early going, and we... Let's see what we do here, because we do have Thunderbolt and Agility. But Alakazam is going to go first. Oh, that'll be a two hit. So I probably should have gone for Agility here. But we don't really need to since we paralyzed the Alakazam on the first hit. Oh, unfortunately, it does have a Miracle Berry, so it shrugs that right off. Oh, it looks like it's a speed tie then. And we paralyze the Alakazam again. Wow, that is unbelievable. Two Thunderbolts, two paralysis, paralysis turns. And unfortunately, Jolteon does not last long after two Psychics from Alakazam. But it did do a tremendous job of at least weakening it and slowing it down for Jinx as she comes in for our team. And we can just do whatever we want to with it at this point. I'm just going to go for Psychic to polish it off. And that's going to do it for the Alakazam as we are tied back up at two Pokemon left. Two Pokemon remaining. One knockout each. And let's see who Blue's second Pokemon is going to be. Ooh, Arcanine. That is not a good type matchup for us. But thankfully, we do have Lantern in reserve. So I'm definitely going to take Jinx out and put Lantern in. Now, another thing I have to worry about with Arcanine is, is it going to have Dig? That's going to be a huge factor in this. Because if that's the case, then they're going to have super effective type coverage against the rest of our team here. Now, we are going to resist this flamethrower, but Lantern is very slow. So we're most likely going to get hit by another move until we're able to attack. And it looks like Arcanine is going to go underground. So it does have super effective type coverage against the rest of our team. And we're going to miss the surf here. We definitely need to hang on here. We can go for Surf, and then we might need to rest immediately afterwards. Ooh. I don't know if we'll be able to survive another one. Let's see what happens here. Unfortunately, not a crit. Let's see if I rest up now. Okay, they're going to go back underground, of course. And we do have the rest sleep talk combo. No! I'm going for Surf right now. I probably should have rested here. I better hang on. Oh! Ooh, we just barely hung on with two HP. Yeah, we're definitely going to knock out this Arcanine right here. Wow. Wow. I mean, unfortunately, like I said, Lantern's too slow, so he might not get the chance to rest up after this, but... That was unbelievable. I was not expecting us to beat the Arcanine right there. As Executor comes in last, thankfully we have Jinx. So he should be in the clear here. And thankfully we're faster than the Executor, so we can rest up. Hopefully we're able to sleep talk and get Thunderbolt and we're able to paralyze it. Okay, Executor goes for Sludge Bomb to start. And let's see what we do out of this sleep talk right here. Okay, Surf. I mean, a little bit of damage here and there is going to make all the difference once Jinx comes out. Unless they go for Giga Drain to heal it back up. Oh, man, that is dangerous. Executor is so good with special attack. And let's see what we get out of this second sleep talk. It's going to be Thunderbolt. Once again, if we can paralyze it, we should be in the clear here. Oh, thankfully, they go for Sludge Bomb instead of Giga Drain. Like I said, like just a little bit of damage to the executor is gonna make all the difference once Jinx comes in because we're gonna have I we're gonna have uh, access to Ice Beam once we bring Jinx back out here. I did not obviously I did not want it up against Arcanine, so that's why I took it back. But against Executor, it's definitely gonna have a heck of a shot to finish this thing off. And it does! Executor goes down. Blue is defeated on the first attempt. And you know what that means, guys. We're going to punch our ticket to battle red.
to close out the Kanto Gym Leader Castle in our next episode. So I'm very excited for it. Woo! Alrighty. We've gotten all eight of the Kanto badges with that victory right there. And here we go. You defeated all eight of us. You've earned the right to challenge the final trainer in the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, that's quite a run right there. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will be taking on Red in our next episode. In my humble opinion, definitely the GOAT when it comes to Pokemon trainers. And we're going to be taking on him in our next episode to finish off the Johto, I'm sorry, the Kanto Gym Leader Castle. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications for more episodes. And until next time, guys, you all take care. Have an excellent rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time.